Hi everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm currently in my fourth year of studying medicine at Queen's. Whenever I first moved to Belfast, I was super apprehensive about having to shop and cook for myself every single week. Didn't know what I wanted to buy, what I was going to eat, um, not under the influence of my parents. However, when I look back, I can't believe I was nervous. It's ended up being one of my favourite parts of the week, going for a food shop, learning new recipes and cooking for myself and my friends. So I thought this week I'd take you along uh, a bit of an idea of what I eat in a week as a student in Belfast, what I find works for me um, and maybe give you inspirations of what to buy or cook or how to kind of manage that in a time when living is a little bit more expensive. So it's a Saturday afternoon and I'm heading from Lisbon to Belfast. I've been at my part-time job um, and then I typically do my shop on the way back up. I kind of think of my week of meals as starting at the weekend and ending at the weekend. Um, so kind of from like a Saturday, Sunday through to Friday. So that's the plan. We're gonna try and buy everything that I think I'm gonna need for the week. So that's something for breakfast something for lunch and then whatever I'm gonna cook my house for dinner and then like snacks and other like cupboard -y sort of things that I buy every week just to have in. So that's the plan and um, thought I'd bring you along with me and we'll see how we go. This week I did my shop in Sainsbury's, sometimes I do it in Tesco's, doesn't really matter where you head as long as you're making sure you have a rewards card for wherever you do most of your shopping. Whether that's a Nectar card, club card, it can really help you to cut down the price of some key items and also save up points for future discounts. As I went round, I grabbed lots of fruit and veg, some dairy and some cupboard staples, as well as some flowers and a notebook for a friend's birthday. And at the end, my shop came to 25.82. There's a little look of everything I got in my trolley, which even included some snacks replacement for the week. I kick off my week of eating very healthily with a McDonald's on the way up to Belfast and also with some quick and easy noodles before I headed out for a friend's birthday that evening. Sunday's lunch was pizza at dance rehearsals for a show I'm taking part in and after all of my exercise I rewarded myself with some cheesy beans on toast. I did some meal prep on Sunday evening. This was an Instagram recipe that I was following for my lunch. It was really easy, I just made some couscous, fried up my halloumi and veggies and served with avocado and natural yogurt made enough for two portions to keep it nice and fresh and just made me really excited about eating lunch because it looked amazing. I also prepared fruit for the rest of the week. I love buying a whole melon and just eating it. Um, not everyone's a fan, but I find it's a great way to have a snack ready for placement. Monday started with coffee. Here's me having my pre-prepared lunch in the canteen with some of my friends. And then that evening, my housemate Zoe made us a lentil bolognese that we all enjoyed before heading out to a concert. I really love sharing meals with my friends. I think it helps to cut down on costs and also means we get to spend some time together. Tuesday was much the same, I had coffee and fruit for breakfast and more of my couscous for lunch. Then it was time in the evening for me to cook dinner for my flatmates. I made my all time favourite mango chickpea curry. I fried up some paneer, some peppers and onions and some chickpeas as well as making a quick little sauce out of mango chutney, creme fraiche and some spices. This is one of my favourite dinners to make, it's really delicious, really easy um, and really cheap as it's vegetarian, comes in at about £1.50 a portion and there's us all sitting down to enjoy it together. On Wednesday I had some online lectures, there was plenty of times for cups of tea and a bit of brunch. I used up the avocado I planned to use in the rest of my lunches, it was going a bit brown. Turned it into this salsa, made a really delicious bagel and it meant that I wasn't letting any food go to waste. Which worked out well because my lunch plans changed. So, not ideal, I ran out of couscous, I hadn't realised. But I am home alone in the house this evening and I need to make lunch replacement tomorrow. So my plan is to use the peppers and onions and halloumi that I had, the pasta sauce that I bought and pass that we ordered in the house to make myself dinner for tonight and lunch for tomorrow. So we have solved the problem and we're not wasting any food. I guess this shows the importance of being flexible. I just fried up then all of the veggies and halloumi I had and made a really tasty pasta that actually I would make again, but maybe intentionally the next time. I then finished off my Wednesday evening by heading for s'mores with my friend Claire um, and it was a really delicious midweek treat. Thursday started with coffee and some fruit before placement as per usual and then I had a bagel and some tomato soup from the cupboard when I got home which was really really warming. My housemate made us some curry for dinner as well. On Friday I forgot to film my breakfast and then had some noodles for lunch. Um, you may notice that I've eaten a lot of vegetarian food in this video. Um, I'm not a vegetarian but sometimes meat can be quite expensive. Hopefully you've enjoyed joining me on this week of eats. I'm away to a conference in England this weekend, so I'm going to be fed really, really well. But hopefully this has given you an idea of some easy recipes to try, um, or even roughly what it costs to eat as a student in Belfast. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.